The building behind me to my right is a uh, Yuta station, a pretty typical branch line station in a small town in Japan. Uh, this one is for uh, the local hot spring. Uh, in other words, we have hot water uh, pumped up out of the ground into which people have baths. It's a spa. It's also the place from which uh, uh, local high school students commute to school. And so uh, what makes it typical? I'll go through some of the things. There's a taxi rank uh, in these uh, times of uh, depression. Uh, Japan's been in a long economic depression, really, for the past 20 years, about, since I came. Uh, there's a row of taxis outside the station, but not many people are hiring them. Uh, the cars are a little different. In America, you'll find that most of the taxi drivers are of a different ethnicity to their customers. But in Japan, uh, since there are a few ethnic minorities, uh, all the Japanese taxi drivers are uh, Japanese. Um, maybe you can see some standing there. It's kind of bright, so I can't see too well. All the cars are made by Toyota, and generally they're the, uh, the crown make of car, which is quite a luxury car in some ways. Uh, and uh, they have mirrors attached to the front wing as opposed to the door. There's a map next to the train station. The reason why there's a map is because uh, since Japanese roads lack street names, if there wasn't a map, it would be very, very difficult to uh, find out where you want to go. One of the things that makes Yuda Onsen Station a little different is the existence of the large uh, statue, white statue, of a fox, of the white fox. Uh, no, there are no white foxes in Japan, as far as I'm aware. It's a legendary fox, which is said to have found the source of the hot spring. And it's a very common legend throughout Japan that animals find hot springs. I think the idea is that hot springs are considered to be very natural. So if they were found by humans, by humans digging in the ground, that would uh, reduce their sense of um, naturalness. So um, there are many legends of generally of uh, one type of animal or another. Uh, finding uh, the hot springs before humans and humans observing uh, animals having a good time in the hot water which flows naturally out of the ground uh, before realizing that uh, we humans too would enjoy it and so as according to the legend that one day a monk or an otherwise auspicious person saw a white fox bathing in a pool of water and he tried it and he enjoyed it there's not a lot in front of the station. There's a, um, a skewer barbecue shop, a kushiaki shop, which is behind me to my left, uh, which sells um, a, a variety of uh, meats and vegetables skewered and then grilled on a sort of indoor barbecue. Uh, it's very tasty, actually. It uh, doesn't look like much from the outside, but uh, Kushizo, that's the name of the restaurant, is uh, well recommended in front of Yuda Spa Station, Yuda Onsen Station. And there is the ubiquitous bicycle uh, car park. Uh, the Japanese aren't into bicycles nearly as much as uh, Chinese people are. Uh, but um, there are always a lot of bicycles outside Japanese stations. Less because of the popularity of this mode of transport, but more because uh, the Japanese have a tendency to uh, dump their bicycles. There are an awful lot of bicycles in the bicycle park, considering the size of the station. And um, what is special about them is that uh, almost all of them are shoppers with low crossbars to facilitate easy getting on and getting off. A popular Japanese make is um, uh, Bridgestone. Uh, and they're very cheap. They're about well, Bridgestone are not so cheap, but you can get a, a bicycle like this new for less than $200. And I don't think that people feel so identified with their bicycles. A bicycle is a bicycle, rather than being my bicycle. And perhaps that's one of the reasons why they have a tendency to throw them away. And I think that... I was just talking to the guy who uh, runs the bicycle car park, who uh, you can see over there in the yellow hat. And he reckons that a considerable pro 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 proportion of them are already... Um, abandoned, 
and you can see some of them have had very rusty chains uh, like this one here and every now and again every few months they'll get rid of all the the bicycles that no one's coming to ride uh, which will mean that a considerable portion of them will be thrown away uh, because bicycles are cheap because people uh, move they graduate from university uh, the bicycles get left behind and the only uh, fast bike uh, in the bicycle park is uh, mine and uh, here's a train full of people arriving at Yuda Onsen station the majority seem to be school children and university students or people coming to work in the city many of them will have left their bicycle here overnight since they're commuters